The human spirit is one of accomplishment, of taking risks, of moving forward. I've always been a daredevil type person, a typical tomboy type person. I was the only girl in the neighborhood and had to play football and everything with the rest of the guys. I really hope that I'll have a house, that I'll have kids, that I'll be doing a lot of those things and continuing to build on my family. We're part of the fabric and, you know, we don't want to be isolated. You know, we want to be out and, and enjoying life like everybody else. Now imagine the difficulties of achieving what you want to accomplish, hindered by the barriers of being blind, deaf, or both. I didn't care about anything. I just felt like giving up every time I would try something because I couldn't get it. One time I was um, going to work and I fell in the, in the track of the subway. And um, so luckily I was able to get out quickly and, and there wasn't a train coming. I went to a regular uh, city school and the old adage that kids can be cruel is not necessarily untrue. So we had a pretty rough time of it. Leader Dogs for the Blind helps break down those barriers to help clients achieve what their hearts desire. It's given me the opportunity and the ability to basically go anywhere I want to go. With my eight leader dogs, and especially since I've worked with Leader Dog, I've hit 48 of the 50 states. I feel safer that I have my dog now because I don't run into too many things. She'll guide me around them, and I know that I always have my best friend when I'm down there walking. I really like having a dog. It's like having another person with me to go up the steps, somebody who I can be with, who's a companion for me, and to not be so alone. I thank God having a guide dog every day of my life. If I had not had a guide dog, I don't think I would have been able to work for 35 years and retire with a pension. And it's not just getting a guide dog, but it allows people to be part of the American fabric to be consumers, to pay taxes, to buy a house. There's a ripple effect of having a guide dog is much more beyond just than that of the individual. The mission of Leader Dogs has remained the same throughout the years, but the services provided, the techniques used, and the facilities need to change and adapt with the times. Yes, it is totally different. The first place campus has changed so vastly. Some of the buildings that were there originally are gone. It was the old farmhouse. It was only 12 students to a class. Back in August of 63, when I started there, you had a roommate, you had two people to a room, which for someone who's always lived alone, it's kind of stressful. But now the new residence facility is just absolutely perfect. One person to a room, you have your own bathroom and everything. Neater Dog is a developing program now that supports deaf and blind programs. And the instructors that you sign, it's really a great benefit to the consumers who use those programs. And they provide training that's, that's not also only around leaders, but other training as well, where I think that someday, if you make a contribution like that, you never know the impact that that's going to have. I think from my first uh, trip out there in 94 to my most recent trip out there in September 2011. They have come a long way in all positive ways. The staff is great. I met some of the puppy raisers and everybody is so dedicated and really focused on the mission of Leader Dogs. Change and growth are part of the long-term strategy of Leader Dogs, but one thing remains constant, the bond between the clients and the dogs that help them achieve. I was in tears when she was brought into the room to me because I just love her so much. You know, I was able to get my first leader dog, Spencer, and I had actually grown up feeling fairly alone. And now that I have Spencer, I have much more autonomy. Things are so much different now where I can be really my full self. I can sit here and listen to television, or I can throw on his harness and go anywhere I want to go, do what I need to do, run my own errands. Finnegan is my love. He's my companion, he's my needy McGreedy, he's my Finnegan O'Hooligan who's up to a lot of shenanigans. It isn't just the dogs who receive the affection of the clients. They also have a profound appreciation for the Leader Dog Organization, its volunteers, and donors. I can't thank you enough. Um, I just think 
uh, what you're doing. It's so incredibly important. Um, the donors, um, puppy raisers, the whole leader dog family, the Lion Club. On my way over to the Capitol, I was on the uh, subway and a gentleman came up to me and he asked me where Finnegan came from and I said, leader dog for the blind. And he said, oh, I'm a lion. And I just couldn't thank him enough for all the work that his uh, Lion Club has done in support of leader, leader dogs.